Now then, he's here with his ultimate family feast. Joe Wicks is here. He loves a burger, and it's a burger with a difference today. Yeah, this is a Mexican chicken burger with, mm -hmm. like, a lovely corn salsa and a chipotle mayo. And the best thing about Mexican food is so fresh, all these lovely colours and vibrant flavours. So, um, do you like Mexican food? I yep, do. Very much. There's obviously one there that's been done for you, but I'll yes. show you the process. It's a really quick recipe. And the great thing about this new book, The Joe's Family Food, is it's, like, it's food that the kids are going to love. And, yeah. you know, f for example, if I was making this of Indian Mali, I'd let them mix up their salsa, let them put their little kind of, uh, you know, mayo on their bun and get them and involved. And you, because they're, they're very little, but exactly, they're never too early to start, really. It's role modelling, isn't it? Just like, you know, exercising in front of your kids is really important role modelling, so is cooking, enjoying that process and getting them involved in the kitchen a little bit. I yeah. think it can really help them become more adventurous with food. So I've got to get bashy with the... Um, Go for it. Bread. So first thing, chicken breast. Obviously, they're quite thick to start with, so... Lay it between two sheets of um, parchment paper or um, cling film yeah. and just give it a good old bash. You want to make it kind of about a centimetre, sort of one and a half centimetres thick. And, and is that so it cooks quicker? It's going to make it nice and thinner, so more like a shape of a bun, if you like. Oh, and also, right, it's okay. going to cook a lot quicker so that you can, you know, it doesn't take so long, basically. So I'm just going to put that under there. And now it comes for the seasoning. So I'm using Cajun spices. You could obviously keep it... Plain, you could put some paprika, some cayenne pepper, or some peri peri sauce, or whatever. But I'm just going to grab a little bit of um, Cajun on either side. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is put a bit of lime on, on as well. So Cajun spices on both sides. I obviously like it quite spicy. Yeah. And then like a little squeeze of fresh lime. So this is going to be ready, sort of three or, three or four minutes on each side. It's going to cook through quite quickly. Oh, right. So you don't want it to dry out. And then just also get a little bit of olive oil on there, just so it cooks sort of straight in the pan. Then you haven't got to put oil in the pan. To get a nice drizzle of olive oil. And what I'm going to do then is just give it both sides a good coat, stick that in the pan. And um, if I was going to do it for the kids, I'd probably cut that in half. They'd have half a fillet, half okay. a chicken breast sort of thing. So that goes in a nice hot pan. And you've got a griddle pan there, so you get that nice... Yeah, you want to get the like lines on, don't you? So lines, put that yeah. down there and give my hands a quick wash. Yeah, you go for that. And you can hear that sizzle straight away. That's when you know your griddle pan is yep. good to go, isn't it? You're like... Bang, bang. On you could do this on a barbecue, you know, it's all about... My, my books have been successful, I think, because of the speed, right? You know, leaning 15 with 15-minute mm -hmm. meals and all that fast. I think speed, especially when you've got kids, you know what it's like when you're cooking for hungry kids and they're screaming next to you, trying to get up on the counter. I think go. if you can keep it quick and simple... And, and the balance of exercise and nutrition all working together is so important. Yeah, it is. I think, you know, it's so important to show our kids that exercise is something we do for our... Not just our physical health, but our mental health. And same with food. You know, food changes the way we feel. It changes our mood. It changes our energy level. So if you can get your kids thinking about cooking, even, like, little things like, like I said, making porridge, putting your berries on, your peanut butter, like, get them involved yeah. in these things. They, I think Indian Mali interact better with the food that they've helped prepare in a way. Yeah, for sure. Right, so I'm going to um, serve this with some, some corn kind of salsa. So you can stick your corn in, in the griddle pan just to get it nice and sort of charred and crispy. You can, you can cheat and just use a can of sweet corn, but when you char it, it goes nice and sort of sweet and crunchy. Yeah. So basically get a knife, once it's done and it's, you know, it's grilled through, just get a knife, just scrape it off and you're obviously going to get it into like a little tub or something. Then we're going to mix nice. that with some um, baby tomatoes. So this is like our fresh corn salsa. So the sweet corn goes in and I'm going to add some, I've got some nice kind of toasted um, cumin seeds. This is a lovely mm. flavour to add to the salsa. And then lime zest. You're already getting tucked in, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You're, you're eating lovely. the sweet potato crisps, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So a little bit of lime zest, which is nice for the flavour, and then some lime juice. So this is, our, this is a really quick way to make a lovely little salsa. And um, when you combine it with the chicken and the chipotle mayo, it's amazing. So give that a little mix. And that is a really quick way of making a nice, fresh, healthy salsa. That's going to go really well with the, um, the chicken and the the chipotle mayo. So as you can see, look, nice griddle line. Oh, wow. And that's cooked through really quickly. And do you know what I think is quite important is don't fiddle with it. Because don't I'd have been fiddle on the griddle. Don't fiddle yeah. on the griddle. Because I'd have been tempted to turn that over a couple of times by now and I was getting twitchy. I was thinking, he's going to have to turn that well, over. Well, someone but taught actually... me that, like, the, you know, colour is flavour. So when it burns like that, that's kind of, that's where the flavour's yeah. come from. So rather than go left, right, left, right, just leave it on, on one side, let it cook that's through. That's the dream. So I've done the salsa, the chicken breast's almost done. Now I'm going to make a nice, like, mayo, like a chip chipotle mayo. So you can get chipotle sauce in any supermarket. It yep. has got a kick to it, though. So if, if you want to keep it kind of a bit more neutral, don't put this in for the kids. Um, but I like spicy food, so I'm going to add a big dollop of that to some mayonnaise and, like, a little um, squeeze of lime juice. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to have a right little kick to it. And as I said, I mean, you don't have to add... You don't have, have to have the, um, the spiciness. You could just have ketchup, barbecue sauce, whatever it you want. It's good, though. So it gives it a nice colour, mm -hmm. and that when it comes together, it just makes the mm. most amazing flavour in your mouth. So, right, I'll leave that on for a second and I will bring over a chicken breast that I've done just to be sure it's cooked. So, 
It's now time to build the burger. And like, look, my kitchen's a mess. The other day I made pasta with Indian Marley for the first time, which is basically chaos, but... When you get the what, kids involved, fresh pasta? yeah, fresh pasta. It's oh, so you simple. Did it, yeah, I did it. I went on Jamie Oliver's um, Friday night feast with Jimmy and Jamie yeah. at New Year's Eve, and he taught me for the first time. It's just flour and egg. It's so simple. I couldn't get my head around it. And um, <laughs> you've got, I've got the little roller. Yeah. So Indy's like doing that, and it cuts into tagatelli, and they just, their face light up when they know they've made it and they've yeah. cooked it. Yeah. Right. So first up, get your favourite bun. Like you know, you could have a crusty roll, any kind of bun, or a little baguette if you wanted to use a baguette and kick things off with the mayonnaise. So get a nice big dollop of your spicy chipotle mayo. Do you ever get the kids involved in the cooking or is it too much No, too I do, much I do. No, they really, I mean, Harry particularly likes cooking. Um, your you kids know. are also really good because they'll, they're very experimental with their food. They'll eat yeah. anything, won't they? They'll or try testable. all sorts of things. You know, they are, they're really good. They're really good, they do try. And I think that does come from getting them involved, like you say, right from the get-go. So yeah, and it's from there. the early, you know, the early stages of weaning, you probably obviously tried them on You've got them adventurous from that early yeah. age, and it's about being consistent with that, like constantly in, introducing them to new flavours, new vegetables, and it, yeah, it really I goes agree. a long way. So I've got the mayo, the lettuce. I'm now going to put my lovely chicken breast on top, and I'm going to put some of this lovely um, sour. So that, go, that goes inside it. I'm trying this. Yeah, now. you could obviously have that on the delicious. side as a side, but you want to get all them flavours in there. So this is going to be a bit messy, but I'm going to stick that on top. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a lovely, lovely recipe. And then basically top it off with some of your um, like mayo. Like mayo. Else? is incredible. Yeah, it has got a kick to it. Another really nice flavour is harissa. You could use harissa paste, yeah. which is not nice. So that, oh, one more thing, a little bit of healthy fat, get some avocado in there. Yeah. This takes it to another level. This is proper Mexican Your, um, your sweet potatoes there, is that what, is that what they are, the, 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 the crisps that you've done? So I've served this with um, some sweet potato crisps. So basically you just slice the potatoes into really, really mm. thin slices. Roast them in the oven in some coconut oil. And then uh, I knew I could taste coconut sweet in there. That's I mean, look at that, it it's quick and easy. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Who wouldn't love that? The kids are going to enjoy it. And it's, you know, the recipe's got 100 amazing recipes for you and the kids. So get stuck it's in. It's so good. And this is, cool. this is uh, you got the book? 100 delicious, easy recipes to enjoy together. Uh, Joe's family food. Um, thank you, Joe. It's always lovely. Thank to enjoy. You. Enjoy it. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Really. For tasty. all the recipe details, plus lots more from all of our chefs, take a look at our This Morning app.